Donald Trump again in a courtroom, but for the first time on trial. Trump, his adult sons, and the Trump Organization are facing allegations of intentionally inflating the value of Trump's real estate holdings by nearly $3 billion in order to gain more favorable loans. That is a crime, one that could deal a major blow to Trump's New York business empire. It's a witch hunt. Trump is not obliged to attend the trial, but on the first day, he did so voluntarily. This trial was railroaded and fast-tracked. This trial could have been brought years ago, but they waited till I was right in the middle of my campaign. The investigation was years in the making by New York's Attorney General's office, which brought the charges last year. Donald Trump and the other defendants have con committed persistent and repeated fraud. Last week, we proved that in our motion for summary judgment. Today, uh, we will prove our other claims. The case is civil and not criminal in nature. There is no jury. A judge will rule if Trump is liable. If found liable, Trump would have to pay hundreds of millions of dollars in fines. The attorney general is also asking for a permanent ban on Trump and his adult sons running businesses in New York and a five-year ban on commercial real estate activities. Trump has said he's eager to testify in the case, even volunteering to do so. Trump has already lost part of this case when the judge last week ruled that he was liable for fraudulently inflating the value of his New York apartment. The trial now is dealing with six other allegations. This is the first of what will likely be several trials involving the former president over the next year. He's facing criminal indictments in Florida, Georgia, Washington, D.C., and another one in New York. It's a disgraceful trial. But those trials will come later, next year, right in the middle of the Republican primary where Trump is leading the polls. As for this trial, there are more than 100 people on the potential witness list, meaning it could go on for weeks or perhaps even months into December. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.